Hey guys, what is going on? GT2King here, back today with the second episode of how you can make a Steam bot. I've had to record this about five times now due to interruptions, but hopefully this is the time that we should be fine. So in this episode, we're going to do some automating processes so you don't have to do a lot of manual stuff. And maybe do some chat commands as well as idling a game, so that's pretty cool. To start things off, we're going to need a new module which will generate an auth code for us so we don't need to put the steam guard code every time so we're going to do require steam dash totp which i guess generates an auth code then where it says log on options we want to put a comma and two factor code which is the code that it's going to generate so we're going to call steam totp and we're going to tell it to generate an auth code and for it to generate an auth code, it needs your shared secret, which I covered in the video yesterday on how you could get it. But you could put it in quotes here if you have it, or you could put it in your config file and just call it in the bots. So you don't have to go searching for it later on. So we're going to put shared secret in the config. And this is what it should look like. We're going to move it to the other tab for just a sec. Yeah. And let me just log in real fast, just a second, so we don't have to do it later on. And the shared secret as well, so it's a really weird number or value, I don't know what to call it. But yeah, okay, so now we want it to be able to play a game whenever it logs on. So here where it says log on options, we're going to just type client.gamesplayed, and here's the fun part. if you want to idle multiple games steam supports up to 33 games at once which is really useful for like trading cards and stuff like that so if you want to just idle one game just like type it in the quotes or in the parentheses or if you want a custom game you could do like custom game or whatever you want the custom name of the game you're playing to be but we want to do a custom game and tf2 so we're gonna call an array by doing these brackets in the quotes and let's just say custom game and after the quotes we're gonna also join TF2 so that's pretty cool always for remember to put a semicolon and now whenever we log on it one will be automated and we'll join these two custom games so that's pretty cool the next thing we're gonna be looking into though is a chat command so whenever you type something to the bot it will reply so this isn't in the tutorial, but I thought it'd be pretty good to just show it now, or it's farther down in the tutorial, but this is a pretty good place to do it. So we're gonna call client, which is Steam user, and on friend message, which what it's telling you what to do when you get a friend message. And we're gonna call a function, which is kind of a bit more advanced. But if you look at some tutorials, maybe they could help you out with like Node.js and stuff like that and maybe make this a bit more I don't know like easier to understand but in between these quotes we're gonna also call these and what we wanted to do on the friend message we want to say if the message is equal to let's say I don't know hi we are going to also call it again and say client dot chat message which is basically saying for our bot to send a message steam ID is the person who sent it which is called in this function here and we're just gonna reply with um, hello this works so that's what it's gonna say when we type hi so we're just gonna save that put a semi whoops put a semicolon there as well and we're just gonna log on so there's two things we want to do one is actually creating a bat file so let me delete this because i've had to record it and i forgot i didn't delete it so what we want to do is just make a new text document and just like call it run bat or run bot dot bat and then we just want to edit it and type node bot.js and pause what pause does is if you have an error it won't like instantly close the console and it will show you what the error is so that's pretty neat 
and you could probably know what you're working with. So this should be working, but one thing you want to do is open a console or CMD to install the node steam, steam TOTP that we did before. So we're just going to go to that directory and type npm install steam TOTP, which will be able to automati automate the login process. So this is okay. So it installed, and now what we want to do is just click on run bot.bat. And if you configured everything correctly, it should start up, and we should see it on our Steam. Oh, I forgot we're offline on Steam, so we're just gonna go ahead and log in and see the bot. So, as you could see, this is the bot that we're using, and as you could see, it's in a custom game. Let's check if it's in TF2 as well. So as you can, yeah, it's in TF2 as well. It's last played because it's not in game right now because the custom game is being called first. But if you switch it around, it'll be in TF2. But you can't see the custom. I don't know. But either way, that's going to be the episode for today. It's been pretty interesting. I mean, we automated a lot of things. So all you need to do to run the bot is just click on this file and it'll just run it. So that was the episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. In the next one, we're going to be slowly progressing into trade offers. And yeah, just seeing like how to work with trade offers and what you could do with them. So I hope you guys did enjoy and peace.